Hi there! In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create gears from scratch using Fusion. Go to the top of the screen and click on the Utilities tab. Next, click on Add-ins. In the new window that opens, scroll down until you find Spur Gear, click on it, then hit Run. Now you'll see a menu with several gear settings you can customize. First, we set the pressure angle. This defines the angle of contact between the gear teeth. A typical value is 20 degrees, which works well for most standard applications. Next, we choose the module which controls the size of each tooth. Smaller module values mean smaller, more precise teeth. A common and balanced choice is module 2, not too small, not too large. Then we set the number of teeth the gear will have. A good starting point is 24 teeth for a standard sized gear. After that, we adjust the root fillet radius. This adds a small curve at the base of each tooth to reduce sharp edges and stress. A typical value is 0.5 millimeters. Next, we define the gear thickness, which controls how wide the gear will be. A thickness of 10 millimeters is usually a solid default. Finally, we set the hole diameter, which determines the size of the center hole for the shaft or axle. Once you've entered your values, click OK. Fusion 360 will automatically create the gear using the settings you provided. It will appear right in the center of your workspace. Now, if you want to create a second gear to pair with the first, you can do that easily. Just go back to the add-ins menu, run the spur gear tool again, and this time change only the number of teeth. Let's say your first gear has 24 teeth and you want a 2 to 1 gear ratio. For that, the second gear should have 48 teeth. Keep the other settings the same and click OK. Fusion will generate the larger gear with the updated number of teeth. To position the gears correctly, switch to top view, then right-click the second gear and choose Move Copy. Drag it away from the first gear to create space between them. You can also type in a specific distance, something like 72 millimeters. To help them mesh better, it's a good idea to leave a small gap between the teeth. Around 0.6 millimeters of extra spacing is usually enough. You can also rotate the second gear slightly to align the teeth more cleanly. If you want a perfectly aligned mesh, you can use a quick formula. 360 divided by the number of teeth times 2. This helps you calculate the rotation needed for even spacing. Once that's done, you'll have two spur gears, correctly spaced and ready to work together with a 2 to 1 gear ratio. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out more videos.